Hey guys, Kev here, and I got an unboxing to do for you. So, guess I'll use the one I just unboxed to unbox this. This is the Urban AC Supply Trevor Burger collaboration. Go check out that video. There's a link in the description of it to pick one of these up if you want. Helps the channel. Anyway, this is from Knife Joy. So, a little bit of an issue with this one. I ordered it last Thursday on the drop. It's been exactly a week. Um, I used Apple Pay, I paid for it, went through, got the confirmation. A day later, I get an email from them saying, hey, your payment information didn't go through, um, and uh, we sent you an invoice, but you know we were nice enough to hold the knife for you. Um, so I went ahead and paid it again with a credit card, just directly this time, and I got another confirmation. And then it took another day or so to ship. I upgraded it to second day air with uh, UPS to get it quicker because I had already waited like four days, three days. Um, and then it finally got here today on Thursday. So, you know, first world problems up in here. But it was a little odd that like my payment went through, I got a confirmation, and then somehow it didn't work a day later. It's almost like... They wanted to turn Apple Pay off and forgot to, and then they just canceled it. I don't know. Because um, I know they always shut off Sezzle and shit for uh, drops like this because they don't want to pay the 6% fee to Sezzle. Um, if you're ever wondering why they do that, that's why. Because Sezzle gets 6%, and they know people are going to buy these anyway. I get it, but just leave the damn thing on, you know? This is the Pena X-Series. Uh, I almost said Bronco. It's the Bravo. Uh, I told myself I was done with Pena X-Series because I always sell them. I've had some really good ones like the uh, Apache Kickstop, but I always sell them. The jimping just kills me. It, it rips my skin off and then it gets smooth. It's a weird problem, but it's a problem. Uh, I don't know if this is a new box, but here you go. Bravo, Liner Lock, Black Micarta. These were $274. And this is right up my alley, guys. A liner lock version, basically, of the Mula. Uh, for lefties, just makes sense. And you get rid of the uh, X, the issue with the um, the lock bar relief, where it was just a big problem with the clip. So we'll see here how it is. Right away, I can tell you it is much thicker than I want it to be. Um, it just feels a little bit chunky. Um, for example, I just dropped the Trevor Burger. Here's the Urban. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like an extra scale on top of the Urban. Uh, this is the Black Micarta. It's got brass pivot collars uh, or copper, I think. Copper backspacer. Adds a little weight, but hey, it's not actually that bad. Uh, centering looks to be dead nuts. We have that bronze sort of clip. And uh, yeah, the rest of the hardware is that bronze color. You have a sort of muted front flipper that I'm guessing is going to kind of suck, but we'll see. And then you have thumb studs. Let's see if it has a detent. Yeah, that felt good, boys. Oh, yeah, that's actually not as close to the moolah as I thought. Um, I thought this was just going to be like a liner lock moolah, but no, look at that blade. That's gorgeous. Ah, oh, son of a bee. It's a flat grind. Come on. This thing is screaming. Give me a hollow. Give me a hollow. Nope. Sorry. Flat grind. Kind of looks like a, uh, some kind of weird bird. Like a dodo. Does it look like a dodo bird? Kind of looks like a dodo bird. All right. We got the titanium liner lock. This is the reason for the thickness, okay? They had to, they wanted to have an insert in there instead of just having carbonized titanium, which I think is smart. But to do that, Riot wants to have a thicker titanium liner so they can fit the insert in. So that's what they went ahead and did, and that's why it's gonna be a little bit thicker, would be my guess. Ooh! Yeesh! Oh, it's ah! Oh, it's a nail biter. It's a nail biter. I like it. Dude. Oh, ergos. Ergos. 
Dude, so good. Choke up. Yeah, you could choke up to here. And I wish this had a, a hollow grind though. Beautiful sheep's foot blade. You guys know I'm on board with that shit right there. All right, let's, ow, ow. What the fuck? Look at that. You see that piece of skin? It just bit me. Fucking liner lock. Is there just a big gap there? Yeah, wow. Look at that gap between like right here to here. And it just like ate my finger. <laughs> Lefty problems. Oh, if you go down here where the they have a little chamfer down here, if you do it there, it's fine. I was up too high, I think. Yeah, it's fine. And then, oh no, it got me again, dude. That is butter, though. Any play? Yeah, maybe a little play. It almost feels like the whole knife is rocking in my hand. There's no up and down. It's just like, I can feel the whole knife moving. It's kind of weird. But if I do it lightly, yeah, I feel something. So it might just be a little loose, honestly. I'm trying not to cut myself. This thing is a freaking brute. Oh, I had the front flipper. You know what it reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of like, um, a Pena version of the Axon, but with studs. Does it kind of remind you of the Axon with studs a little bit? What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it, Kim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm from Minnesota. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's fire, guys. Wow, I'm glad I picked one up. Um, ooh, it doesn't feel sharp though. It feels dull. Let's. Take your time, Kev. Nobody's got anything to do. Eh. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, guys, that's it. Pena Bravo. Thanks for checking it out. Absolutely love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.